everything set up to show you how to make some easy, very easy jelly, apple jelly this time. And maybe next time we'll do some grape jelly. But this time we're doing apple. And we're going to be using some commercial apple juice to do it with. I bought this old orchid 100% juice and there's no sugar added. That's very important. No sugar added. The recipe specifically calls for no sugar added. Because we're going to add sugar. A lot of sugar. So let's get started with this. But before we do get started, how about hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel? I really could use your support. And I would appreciate it very, very much. So let's get started here. So I have my 23 quart Presto pressure canner. And I have my jars in here and I have already boiled these jars. You do not have to sterilize jars anymore because the USDA has declared it safe unless you are processing less than 10 minutes. I did boil them, but I didn't have to, but I, they were already there in the canner, so, so I did. I went ahead and did it while I got everything else set up. There wasn't no problem with it. All this recipe calls for is the apple juice, some powdered pectin, and a little bit of butter. The butter is to keep the boiling from foaming up. And so I'm going to put the butter in. It's only optional. You don't have to put the butter in. And then I have five cups of sugar right here. And it calls to pour it in all at one time. So I got it ready. Now I have four cups of apple juice in this little saucepan. Actually, it's calling for a large saucepan because I'm going to put a lot of sugar in here and the butter. So I'm going to put it on high heat. I'm going to put the pectin in. And I'm going to whisk this pectin into the apple juice and let it get nice and dissolved. And it's important that I really shouldn't have turned the heat on high before doing the pectin, but it's dissolving pretty good. So I am just making sure that everything is dissolved in here. Pectin is what makes your jelly thicken. So that's the importance of pectin. Now I'm going to let this come to a full boil, but I'm going to stir it fairly frequently until it gets there. Okay, looks like it's boiling. So I'm going to add all the sugar at one time. And I'm going to stir this until it comes to another bowl.
Okay, the recipe calls for a hard boil. So we're going to let it boil hard. And then we're going to time it for one minute. And I hope this foam doesn't go up over. This is the easiest jelly I believe you could make. Okay. I'm going to remove it from the heat. I'm going to get out one of my jars with some, with a little bit of water in it. I'm having to walk around the tripod. <laughs> I'm going to get out to Okay, over here, here's where I'm doing everything. Okay, quarter inch headspace is what you need. Now I'm wiping off the rim with a wet paper towel. And this water is really hot, so I'm not going to stick my finger down in there. this one off. I don't remember if I did or not. I'll get it. I am picking this jar up straight. I do not want to tilt it. I'm going to walk around behind the camera. Put it in.
And that's all there is to that part. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up off camera. And I'll be right back with you. Like I probably already said, I'm using my 23 quart Presto to water bath can these jars in. And to do that, I'm going to try leaving the ring in. The instructions do not say to leave it in or to take it out either way. And so I'm going to try leaving it in because it's going to have a hole here. And plus, I'm going to take this out. If a whole lot of pressure builds up, then I will know it will lock. And it will still lock. So, that's what I'm going to do. This is the first time I've used my Presto to water bath can in. No, it's the second time. The first time, I did not put the put this in and everything turned out just fine except it boiled over <laughs> okay there's a V here and there's a V on the pressure canner you match those V's up and you turn it Turn the, turn it on high, and wait for the water to come to a boil. The water in the canner should be at least an inch above the jars. Okay, the water is boiling, and I'm setting my timer on 10 minutes. Um, how do I know it's boiling? Well, I took the lid off and looked down in there to be sure that it was boiling. That is the only time that you remove this lid while something is processing is when you are water bath canning. Never, 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 never remove this. And if this lock should come up and lock it, it's supposed to lock it where you can't open it. But all the same, don't ever try unless it's water bath cannon, and that's what we're doing. So we're gonna wait our 10 minutes and I'll be back on whenever 10 minutes is up. Okay, the timer's getting ready to go off, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the heat off. I'm going to remove it from the heating source so that it can cool down. to let any steam go to my face or any water drip onto the floor where my feet are. And I'm going to wait five more minutes. Just five more minutes. And then I'll be able to take them out. This is the easiest cannon to make. You want to see what it looks like down in there? There you go. There you go. It's uh, I put empty jars in there to fill up the space so that they didn't slide all around while they were processing. Five minutes is up and I'm gonna take these jars out of the water and hope for the best. And when you're lifting them out, lift them straight up and straight down.
Well, if you've had fun watching my video, I hope you subscribe and I hope you um, hit the like button. Uh, I sure would love to have you as a subscriber. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. And so, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.